Alright students, in problem number 18, it's asking me which of the following is the graph of the equation x equals 3. Now, a couple things. They don't give me y. They just give me 3. And, you know, x and y have to work together for the line to be diagonal. So, anything that's diagonal instantly cannot be an answer. A, a can't be an answer because, I mean, x has to be constantly 3. If I pick a coordinate... At, you have to have an x value of 3 for that coordinate. So, I mean, this coordinate works. See, if I look at this coordinate, oh, it doesn't work at all. I apologize. The y equals 3. I mean, this coordinate is 0, 3. y equals 3, but x equals 0. Well, x e isn't equaling 3 there. I mean, x equals negative 3 here. This is negative 3, 0. I mean, at any point, does x equal 3? You know, so it's not going to work at all. Now, if I look, if I scroll down more, whoops, a little bit too far, too far again. There we go. Now, if I look here, <clears throat> are all the coordinates going to have an x value of three? Well, it kind of looks like it does. I mean, if I look here, this is 0, 3. Oh, you know what? It doesn't. This would be 5 spaces to the right and 3 spaces up. This would be 5, 3. You know, this is 10 spaces to the right and 3 spaces up. This is 10, 3. So, you know, at first glance, this looks like the correct answer. Because it's, you know... You look at three spaces up, but if you look at the coordinates, none of the coordinates have an x value of three except for this one, where I have three spaces to the right and three spaces up. So B isn't my answer either. And it's tempting to say that B is your answer just because you have a horizontal line, and horizontal line is what you think is x. So, now let's look at it, let's look at letter C. Whoops, a little bit too far. I apologize, the memory is a little bit slow on the laptop when you have big graphs like this. So, to bear with me for just a few seconds. There we go. Now, for answer C, for answer C, C can't work either. I mean, this is a diagonal line. I told you before, X and Y work together for a line to become diagonal. You know, here I have x equals 3. I mean, where x equals 3, y isn't going up or down at all. You have 3, com this is 3, comma 0, but then that's 5, comma 2, and that's 7, comma, I'm sorry, yeah, 7, comma 5. So I don't think that x is going to equal 3 in all of these coordinates. So let's try... Letter D. And if I look here, you know, three spaces to the right, this is three comma zero, that's three comma two, three comma three, three comma four, three comma five. If I go down, this is three comma negative one. 3 comma negative 2, 3 comma negative 3, 3 comma negative 4, 3 comma negative 5. So it looks like D is my answer. When you have the problem where they ask you, oops, way too far. Where they ask you a graph, but they only give you one variable, like X, then... It's one thing, it's going to be a straight line. And two, it's important to examine the coordinates first and make sure that all the coordinates for that x or y value is equal to that number. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I hope this helps.